All right, y'all, so this is definitely gonna be the part two. So just about to jump right into it. So if you guys are already not subscribed to my channel, click subscribe. And if you already subscribed to my channel, stay tuned because you see these videos starting to drop like hotcakes now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. All right, come on, Keeper, where you at? It's definitely gonna be the part two right here of the video. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. Oh, oh, he was just running so hard. Dude, how did he not get smacked? Dude, how did he not get smacked? No way. How did that thing not get smacked, bro? Is he running? Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Come on, y'all. Look at this little snug. All right, gotta release this boy. Come on. Whoa, was that a thump? Nope. Oh, I think that was a thump. Got him on the croaker. Bringing him back. Short? Yeah, short. Oh. Yeah, you probably afraid me. Yep. Short one, though. Nice little one. Go ahead and just bring him on in. Come back this way. Up. Oh. Fit the hook even better. Yeah, he was short. He spit the hook even better. They be whacking the heck out of these things right here. Dude, I couldn't. I can't believe you got bit by an eel, bro. Huh? I said I low key can't believe you got bit by an eel. Oh yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You might got a good snook. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Lee. Uh, 
kidding me, man? Broke you off? Yeah. Dang, bro, he had a nice fish. You let him look. Golly, bro, this bait just got smacked and you let it go. Oh yeah, he don't want it anymore. Dude, he just hit this bait so hard and like let it go. <laughs> Look at this bait, bro. They just skinned him, huh? Yeah. Took all the scales off. All right, Bob, if you just want to tie a hook in the other one. No, it's a good one down there though. Yep. What's like 70% of our bait didn't just die. That sucked. Mm -hmm. This thing's bite, man. <clears throat> Not yet, Snook. Oh my gosh. Dude. So y'all like, like using those gamagatsus? I like using them. I mean, they work pretty good. Just when I use bigger baits, I use like the heavier ones versus like the thin ones. Especially so either that or like from fishing heavier structure. So I like using the. Uh, In a war zone. Oh, is he on? Oh, he's still on. I thought he got away. Uh, is that a slot? No. Good, you gotta think about it. It ain't one. Oh, this one's pretty heavy. Let me get down there. Look at that, man. Bushido 3K86, 12 to 25. What I told y'all uh, earlier. Y'all better go buy one. Why? Look what it's doing, man. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down, bro. I'm gonna let you go. Stop me. I'm gonna let you go. Pop that hook out. Do I man? Just like that. Ah. Boom. Out of there. Well, let's get another one. Snorp Jetty was terrible. You hear me? They said the North Jetty is terrible. Oh my gosh, he just got smoked. He just got smoked. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, give me a good fish. Some people will be excited catching this many snook. I mean, I am. But like when, you, when you've when you caught 15, 20 of them this size, it's like, come on, man. I like I love catching snook, bro. But when you keep catching them this side, it's kind of like, dang. All right, come on now. It's kind of annoying. Man. Yeah. Maybe that was a bad drift. I don't know. Maybe it was a bad drift. Maybe a good one didn't see it. I don't know. Come on, slot. I know you're somewhere down there. 
you dancing. They just don't want this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, I guess he did one. I guess a good one just had to like find him or whatever. Whatever you guys want to call it. It's about this stuff. How big is this one? Uh, he's short too. Let's see if I can just slide them on up here. There we go. Just grab them real quick like this. Snook do have a really sharp gill plate right there. And it's a feeling that you can never get used to. Trust me when I tell you all this. Head first. 10 out of 10 die. A little fray. Cut that off. Try. Matter of fact, I'm throwing another one. Nah, let me not do that. Y'all listen, man. I told y'all 10 times. I'm using the Bushido 3K86 12-25. I'm using the Vanstar VSB50 VSX. 250 whatever you want to call it but it's the newest VSB 50 and no I'm not sponsored by Vanstall by any means but that's just the reel I'm using right now VSB oh my gosh he's running Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. I got him. I got him, I got him. Oh. Y'all, I done caught so many of these things. Like, I'm just ready to catch the, the dad. I don't want the mom. Well, I'd rather have the mom right now. There we go. Now flip her on up. Yes, sir. This is a baby right here. Yeah, it is. How big do they get? I have no idea, but this one right here is probably like 22 inches. Y'all probably get big ones by your house. I yeah, I see the whole pot right here. It's a baby. That's a little one. Snook. Not this, not this side. He's too small. Oh. Yeah, they have to be 28 inches. Yeah. At least 28, 28 to 32. Inches. Yes, sir. That was fast, though. Yeah, it was fast. You see how fast that was? It's crazy. All right, y'all. For the people that's still here, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And the rod that I was using, as you guys seen in the video, is the Bushido 3K 86 12 to 25. If you guys want to know where to purchase that, you have to call American Tackle or go to Mutt Hole. And if you go to American Tackle in Oviedo, Florida, aka outskirts Orlando, ask for Mo. That's the person who I go through. I'm pretty sure anybody in the building could help you, but Mo knows me. Mo knows what I use. Um, he knows everything because he basically put everything together. But, hey y'all, that's all I got for y'all and stay tuned for the next video.